Welcome to the Daughter Arise channel. My name is Yvonne and this channel is all about bringing you content about childhood sexual abuse. On this channel I share things to do with my experiences of going through this as a child. I also share other survivors stories and add commentary to it and I also from time to time interview other survivors and their supporters in hopes of raising awareness about this childhood trauma. So if this is the type of content you're looking for please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified of any new uploads and if you like the content please hit the thumbs up button. So in today's video I want to bring to you the story of Anthony Edwards. He is an actor. Some of you may recognise him from his role in ER and in his childhood he has alleged that he was sexually abused by Hollywood producer and writer Gary Goddard. Anthony first met the producer at aged 12 at the start of his acting career. Anthony starred in films such as Fast Time, Revenge of the Nerds and Top Gun. Anthony said of his abuse, my vulnerability was exploited. I was molested by Goddard and my best friend was raped by him. This went on for many years. The group of us kept quiet. Anthony Edwards said that he confronted his abuser at an airport 22 years later. He said of the encounter, I was able to express outrage at what he had done to me. He claims Goddard swore he was remorseful and said he had gotten help. Edwards added, I felt a temporary sense of relief. I say temporary because when I saw Goddard in the press four years ago for alleged sexual abuse again, my rage resurfaced. At age 51 years old, Anthony Edwards was able to receive specialised therapy. The ER star said, only after I was able to separate my experience, process it and put it in its place could I accept this truth. My abuse may always be with me, but it does not own me. He concluded, I did not go from being a victim to a survivor alone. No one does. I had to ask for help. And I am so grateful that I did. So as you just heard from Anthony Edwards' story, it took 40 years for him to get to a point where he could go and access specialised therapy to help him to process his abuse. This is on average with some other statistics I've seen from different um, organisations that support survivors that disclosure can happen, you know, many, many, many years later. You know, it's almost never immediately for a lot of survivors. And I think one of the powerful things that can be taken from his story is that it's never too late to access help. It's never too late to, you know, face the pain of your trauma. And it is painful. But if you can get support and help on your journey to do that, then it makes the journey, it makes the burden a little lighter. I'm sorry that this has had to happen to him. You know, there's been so many stories that have come from Hollywood of people being sexually abused by agents, producers, other actors and stuff, you know. And it really just makes me really wonder about, you know, Hollywood in itself. You know, it doesn't seem to be a very healthy place, especially for young kids. So that is it for this story and I will see you on the next one. Take care.